What's good, everybody? My name is Will, and welcome back to another episode of Will on a Whim. Before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Albert. Okay, I got some beef with traditional banks. You know why? Because overdraft fees. Yeah. Fees to upkeep your savings or your checkings account. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Also, where's the cash back on debit purchases? I need money. <laughs> also, I remember once I tried calling my bank and why did it take me two hours to get to a human? I want to talk to a human representative. But this is where Albert steps in, puts on the cape, and is like, hey, I'm here to save the day. It's free to sign up, easy to use. It helps you save money. It does the work for you. Like traditional banks, you have to do the work, right? You have to put money into your savings account. But with Albert, it'll look at all of your finances, see what you spend, see what you don't spend, and see what money you have left over that can be saved. Then they can move that money automatically into your savings account. So no matter what, Albert's gonna have you saving money even if it's like $2 at a time. Oh my God, also, okay, so this is my card right here, right? There we go, right there, okay? It's a debit card. I can swipe my debit card and get cash back. 5 to 20% cash back. So in the app, you can go and you can click your favorite merchant. I'm talking Starbucks, I'm talking McDonald's, like places, Walmart, places that you shop at actually. When you swipe your card at that place, immediately you'll see that money show up in your bank account. Like, that's it. Also, Albert doesn't charge overdraft fees. They actually spot you up to $250 whenever you need it. And you can just pay that back to them with no interest and no credit check. And there's no upkeep fees for you to hold some kind of minimum balance. And finally, geniuses Ooh. yeah albert has this team of financial experts called geniuses and what they do is they look at your financial situation holistically and they'll answer any questions you have and they'll help you save you got a whole team of people to ask questions about your finances so this is all great go ahead and click the link in the description box to download the albert app today for a limited time when you open up a checkings account and you connect a qualifying direct deposit you'll get 150 dollars. so go ahead and check out the link down below thank you so much to albert for sponsoring this video speaking of that let's get back into it <laughs> Um, I have never been more sure of one thing in my life, ever. And that thing is that I need to get water on my whole body, on my hair, on my face. So today's video is going to be me transforming myself, okay? Not necessarily transforming myself, but because this ain't a TikTok filter. But it's more like I'm coming into who I really am. Um, Lil Bow Wow. Please! No! Oh my God, don't say that. I'm looking for the Lil Romeo special. I'm looking for the Omarion special. I want to take care of my beard today, shave my sides, and cornrow my hair up. Yeah, yeah. You already know what time it is. It's time to get our <laughs> together. This is, what is this? This is like a peek behind the curtain, if you will. I'm going to take you all with me through the process that I used in order to, <laughs> <laughs> in order to not look like this anymore. I love myself. Even though I look like a burnt chicken nugget. But I'm gonna be doing my hair today, like literally all my hair, all the hair on my head, right? So let's get into it. I'm gonna be using my clippers here. I have these T outliners, right, from Andis. This was kind of expensive, but I saw my barber using it, and so I peeped that, and then I just looked it up when I went home when I purchased it. It was all kind of my plan to go do it myself at home. And then after that, I'm gonna be using my Wow. Um, whatever kind of, these are just regular clippers. They just have like the guard lever. And then I have all of my guards. I recently purchased these new ones from on Amazon because the other ones broke up. They broke. Oh, I think this is also a good time to show y'all my barbers, whenever I would go to them, they would shave my hairline back. Like literally the back of my head, girl, the hairline was going up and up and up. <laughs> Could you imagine like all of that's bought? Well, I guess that's an undercut. I'm growing out the hair back there. So I just want to show you all kind of like, how long it's gotten. Okay. Yeah. This is where my hairline was. I was shaking. Like, look at this, y'all. Look. We're gonna get started. I wanna show you all my setup. I grab an old towel, much like this one. I drape it just like this over my sink and I have some kind of like paperweight holders to hold it down in place. That way, when I'm finished, all the hair can be in here. I can wrap this up, take it and throw it in the washing machine. I saw the girlies on TikTok telling me to put saran wrap over my sink. Y'all hate mother earth, don't y'all? Y'all hate her. Y'all the ops. Like, why would you waste all that plastic to catch the hair? Just use a towel. Hello. Come on, get with the program. The ice caps are melting. Let me ask you this question. Do you know how to surf? No, ma'am. No, so let's get let's get with the program. First step, step number one. I am going to br uh, brush all my hair down. Brush all the hair down, honey. Get it all straight, right? And I don't know why I'm even going through this as if I'm like really Barbara of the week. Cause let me tell you, I ain't. I'm just gonna go straight in with my T outliner and I'm gonna create what's called a bald line. 
Yeah, it's gonna ball out like an inch. Balled out an inch from like my beard. And just get it bald, child. So we're gonna do the other side as well. So we got a bald line here, bald line there. Then I'm gonna go in with my wall clippers with no guard on, put the lever open. <laughs> right there okay so that's the lever when it's all the way to the back it's open when it's all the way to the front it's closed this when it's closed it gives you, it gives you a closer shave so you can incrementally kind of like get a, a less close shave as you push it backwards that makes sense okay now let's go we're gonna go about in half an inch up half an inch to an inch up from the line that we just created right here real meditative because you're just sitting here and you're concentrating and you're focusing and it feels kind of like a uh, drawing almost like you know where you're paying attention to small small details and you're trying to see things that you know the passing the quick eye wouldn't catch what um, so yeah it's real fun and stuff says i hope my fingers here so i don't go too far up girl because i ain't trying to i had some issues in the past with some barbers and like I said, y'all, I am not no professional barber. I know the girls are in the, going to be in the comments like, why did you do this? You should have did that. Like, girl, do it this way. And it's like, honestly, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sis, because you probably know more than I do about this. Anyway, so now you can kind of see there's three different areas, right? What I'm going to do now is take this lever and I'm going to push it up about halfway, right? So this is all the way. We're going to go about halfway. And we're going to go up to, like, just under the second line that we created here. And you want to be even, right? Like, take your time, go over it a few times. It's also a good idea to continue brushing your hair as you do it. And then we're going to push the lever all the way closed and go up halfway in that little section that we had. So just about halfway. Okay, I know it's still looking wild, but we, got, we still got more to go. Calm down. I'm gonna put my number one guard on onto the clipper, just like that. And I'm gonna keep the lever all the way open and I'm just gonna shape up all the way. Now we're gonna push that thing halfway. And then we're gonna go like a half an inch from the top. Now we're gonna push the lever all the way forward and get into it. My clippers actually need like some kind of adjustment, Miss Girl, but I ain't no mechanic, so I ain't doing that. Is it worth it? Is it is it worth $10,000? So now I'm putting on my half guard, okay? So I'm just gonna slap that on there. Keep the lever fully open, and I'm just gonna clean up this kind of area right here to see if it blends more. This is the part where I have trouble with, cause then I feel like I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But yo, love, saving me $30 a week from going to the barber, so. All right, this is the part that's scary, child, the hairline. I'm using my number one guard. I hate this part because, girl, when you're in the barber shop and they, they, they're doing this part, they don't care nothing about your eyeballs. They don't care about your eyeballs at all. You come out with hair all in your eyeballs. They leave you down there for dead. You be like, help, help. I have a widow's peak naturally. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's usually, it comes literally down like this. Um, and it's giving McDonald's arches. Anyway, now I'm gonna take my tea outliner and just lightly ah, 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 go in there. Honestly, that's the scariest part. Now, while I have my T-liner out, I also go and I just do my beard a little bit. I usually line up my mustache too, but I let it grow out for a little bit and I think I kind of like the look. Like I kind of like a thick mustache that connects. Yeah, it connects. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go under my beard. Just to get the neck. 
world has changed so very much from what it used to be. There is so much hatred, war, and poverty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, when, when John Legend came out with that song, girl, poverty was gone, hunger was gone, hatred gone. Yo, where's my beard comb? Because I can't find my beard comb, I'm gonna use this pick. So I'm just gonna go lightly at the surface first, very gently, not ripping through it, All right? You can get deeper as you go. I feel like this video is already like super duper long. And I gotta braid my hair. Yeah, this is gonna be take forever. So I could use the scissors and I could just snip and just get any outliers. I'm about to just start going to the barber just to get my beard done and like have them shape it or whatever. But I don't want no length taken off. I'm gonna put some uh, rubbing alcohol right there, clean up my hair tools, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower. Bye. Since this video is already super long, let's speed through this wash day. Step one, rinse. Real easy, water to the dome. Step two, conditioner. Just a little bit with this one because the slip go crazy off a drip. Like two seconds in and I can already run my hands through, but called on Sister Felicia Leatherwood, AKA the detangling brush to finish the job because this hair needs to be extra moisturized and extra detangled for easy braiding. Step three, rinse. Must I explain that to you? Step number four, shampoo, mainly for the scalp, but also for the hair strands. Here I put my fingers to work, they're trying to collect them W2s. Step number four, rinse. It's just that simple. Step number five, deep condition. Before any protective style that requires a lot of manipulating of my hair, I make sure that I use a ton of deep conditioner just to fortify my hair and I leave it in for about 15-ish minutes. And while we wait, it's time for wash yo beard. It, this is a game show where you watch me wash my beard with dandruff shampoo because yes I get dandruff in my beard sometimes moving on step number six you guessed it rinse get all that excess deep conditioner out step number seven applying leave-in conditioner post shower is to me one of the many keys that unlock the treasure chest that holds week long moisture okay so I slap that in and call it a day now let's go ahead and get back into the routine okay I'm out of the shower obviously Oh my god! But now I'm gonna go ahead and do my beard routine. Um, it's real simple. I just use this. It's real simple. It's this from Bevel. I think I have some. Uh, what is this? Not the hair. What? I think I have some moisturizer from Shea Moisture as well that I have not used. I should try it out today, but I don't, girl, I got other stuff to do. Just massage a dime to a quarter sized amount into your beard or mustache. Um, so I just take a little bit, just like that, and then I massage it in my hands because it kind of melts. You'll see, look, gone, but it's still there. And I just put it on my beard right after I wet it. Now, I don't ever go on dry with this. So I always make sure there's water in my beard. Yeah, I just put that in there and then it is just moisturized now. Wow. Right, for the day. And it's shiny, it's nice. And I can I can reapply this throughout the day, but I don't. Oh. Tomorrow, I'll wash my beard again. With my beard, I can wash it daily or at least put some water in it daily. And you can take a beard brush and you can just brush it, right? That's it, that's how I take care of my beard. Boom. Okay, now I'm going to fix my eyebrows up. So as you can see, like a little bit of the hair is growing back down there. So I just take my little razor. I got these from Ross and I had them for the longest time. And... I didn't use them until recently, and I was like, wait, hold up, these are amazing. Um, okay. Boom. That's all I wanted to do. You don't want to get too wild. Stop! <laughs> That's it, sis. We ain't doing no more. Stop! Stop playing! Okay. We're about to get started. I'm using the hack again where I FaceTime the back of my head so I can see the back of my head. So I'm gonna do cornrows today. Um, I'm gonna be watching Amazing Race while I'm doing that. So let's keep that, let's keep that open, sis. Yeah, let's just get started. How about that? This is the dopest hack I've seen in a, in a very long time. The fact that I can see the back of my head is just so, oh, it feels like the weight's been lifted off my shoulders, child. I'm gonna first start by parting my hair down the middle. I have a mirror here too for the front of my head. I'm gonna add some wet on extreme gel to my hair cause I want some sleek old uh, cornrows. I don't know, I'm just doing this on the fly, you know what I mean? 
I wish I was skilled enough to just do straight backs. Like I can do that, but it just takes a lot of time. And that's still something that I like, I need like the sh- traditional mirror set up for that. That's why I don't think I've really cornrowed my hair on YouTube because I can barely see what I'm doing when I'm like filming. This setup is nice because I can just, I can just watch myself while y'all watch me, but at least I, parted my hair so I have four different sections two in the front two in the back and I'm just going to cornrow the backs down and then cornrow the tops that way because I don't cornrow in like the right way I feel like my fingers are not doing the right thing and so it's hard for me to do full straight backs I have to kind of break them up So let me just, there we go. Um, I'm finished and I'm just like putting some gel on my end so that they get a little bit cuter, but I'm finished. Yay. Um, I feel so much better. I got all my hair done. I did my beard. I did my hair. I did um, my shaved sides, which are looking honestly not that bad. Not that bad. I really got to go now. I have to pick somebody up from the airport, <laughs> but I'm going to enter some footage of my braids here and then I will talk to you all in the next video. All right. I'm finished with this thing. Take my scarf off. I put my scarf over these braids. Yes, mama. Here we go, mama. Yes. I feel so good now that I cut my hair, did my eyebrows, cleaned up my beard and braided my hair all in like three hours. That was cute. Fan me, fan me, any me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. Fan me, fan me, any me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. All these neck neck just wanna be a mini me. Okay, so that brings us to the end of another episode of Will and a Whim. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Shout out to Albert for sponsoring this video. Shout out to Albert for sponsoring this video. Definitely go ahead and check them out in the link below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you want to stick around, be my friend, be my homie. I feel like I look like an egg now. I look like an egg. Do I look like a muppet? Um, but if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. It helps other people see these videos. If you want to stick around and be my friend, be my homie. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. My second YouTube channel, Will on a Win More, where I post vlogs. Most recently, I went to Mexico and I vlogged the entire experience. Go ahead and check it out. They're unedited videos. You can follow me on TikTok as well. I'll be active over there. Just don't follow me in real life because I, girl, I got some story times for that one. Hope to see you back here real soon for another episode of Will on a Win. But until then, bye. Uh, I'm about to go, go cool. Leave all my haters red like old news. Yeah, trying to get the green like it's old foods. Couldn't take my style and now you so blue. Yeah, now we don't even know you. Your hometown, we don't even go to. Trying to get it worldwide global. Looking, I can show you. Been killing this since 02. Spiller, spiller, the whole